everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be going through how you can turn your love and passion for art into a full-time career and for this video i'm mainly going to be talking about my own experience of how i've managed to build a six figure a year business through my art and this is going to be quite a brief video so if you guys want to know more details and more in-depth videos on any parts that i go through today let me know in the comment section and i will make this into a series for you guys if that's something that you'd be interested in now whilst i'm talking through this topic i will be painting a very expressive bee on a flower watercolor painting in the background so without further ado grab a cup of tea and let's get started so for this video, I won't be talking about your art skills specifically. I'm going to be focusing on the business aspects of building an art business. But of course, to make a living as an artist, you'll need some sort of semi-decent art skills. And pretty much all of my other videos on my channel will help you improve your art skills. So it doesn't mean that if you don't have the best art skills now that you can't make a living as an artist just keep practicing and get the art skills to where they need to be but you definitely don't need to be the best artist in the world to make a living as an artist not at all so where do you start it can be very confusing when you want to build a business as an artist where to start now like i said i'm talking about my own experiences mainly but there's so many different avenues you can take to earn a full-time living as an artist so i started my business by focusing on building an audience first. And I did this mainly through YouTube, but many artists grow following through places like Instagram or other social media platforms. But building an artist is probably the most difficult and time consuming part of building the business, but it is so crucial. And if you want to build a business that can really flourish and grow and grow, then taking the time to really build a audience will be such an asset to you in the future. So the key for this is to be consistent when posting social media, it's gonna take a long time. So the earlier you can start, the better. Even if you're really young, but you know you want to pursue a career in art, it, too, there's no sort, sort of thing as too soon or being too young. Just start when you're ready. And also there's no such thing as too late. If you decide that you want to switch your career path, you're doing something completely different, but you want to pursue a career in art, then just get started. Started. don't put it off post your work on social media try to be consistent even if you can only post every week or every two weeks just try and be consistent and create a schedule for that and over time your audience will grow so like I said, I decided to mainly focus on YouTube as I feel that this is a really good platform to build an audience and be personal with your audience. Whereas places like Instagram, you can put up pictures of your work and videos, but you can't really put up long videos. I know there's IGTV, but I just felt like YouTube was such a great platform to really get your skills across. And also for me, I was focusing on doing tutorials. So I thought that YouTube was a great place to offer that education. It is also really important to build a website as this can be a hub for your audience to go to or anyone that's interested in your work. If you've got any potential clients, you can send them to your website and this can showcase all of your work and also have all of the products and services that you are offering available so that anyone that's interested can go and see it all written out in one nice place. And it can be a hub that you can send anyone to no matter which way they're finding you, which social media source, or if they find you in person and they're interested in your art, a website is just a great thing to have no matter what you are trying to pursue, what career or direction you are going in. So as social media followings take such a long time to build, you can be lucky and it can happen quite quickly, but most of the time it will take a couple of years, but it's really worth it when you take the time to grow your followings. It definitely is very important that you do that, even though it will take a bit of time. But in the meantime, there is other ways that you can make money through other marketplaces. So these marketplaces already have an established audience. 
So for example, these include selling prints or homemade products on places like Etsy. You could teach classes on websites like Skillshare if that's what you're interested in. Or if you're freelancing, you can offer services on places like Fiverr. So these places have already got an audience that's there waiting to buy and to have services provided for them. And so that is a great place to go. Those places are great in the meantime to make a bit of extra money whilst you build your social media followers wings. But building your own following will give you more control over your income and it will give you more potential to grow. Whereas with these other marketplaces, there may be limits on how much you can grow with that. There are a few people that do really, really well on those sites, but I feel like having your own audience really puts you in control. So as an artist, you really need to have a vision of how you want to earn your money from your art. So before you go in and build this audience, have in your mind what you'd like to be achieving in the next few years. How do you wanna make your money from your art? Do you want to sell your original art and sell prints of your art? Do you wanna offer educational tutorials on how to improve your art skills? Do you wanna do conventions? Do you wanna stream your art? What do you want to do? What is right for you? So I'm gonna go through a few different artists here on YouTube that have very different approaches on how they make a living from their art. And so one of them is gonna be me and I'm also gonna be talking about Jazza and Bailey J. And all three of us have completely different ways that we go about earning a living and a full-time income from our art. So I myself, I focus on the educational sector of art and I earn my living mainly from providing educational services as many of you probably know already. So I offer courses and I also have a Patreon which is a monthly membership site where I provide real-time tutorials. I also have a few other revenue streams to diversify my income, but those are the main ones. So I focus on providing tutorial education for art. So Jazza is probably the biggest art YouTuber on here. You probably obviously all know who he is. And he mostly makes a living via his art in a different way. He's more of an entertainment art channel and his videos are really good. If you don't know who he is, I definitely recommend checking him out. I definitely think of him as like the Australian version of Art Attack love his videos and so from what i can see he makes a lot of his money from sponsorships and brand deals and working with other companies and this is a great way to support yourself by building relationships with other art companies and other companies that provide services and giving to your value value to your audience in that way so i see that he does a lot of sponsorships on his videos he also sells things like courses, ebooks, and he has his own book too. And again, there'll be lots of other ways that he creates revenue, lots of different revenue streams. Now, finally, Bailey J is someone that again, does it differently. So you probably all know her too. And she makes her income from physical product sales. So she sells a lot of her art prints and these really, really cute enamel pins. I see that she does a lot of runs and sales for them and that's very profitable for her and i also know that she has done things like conventions and earns income through streaming on twitch and she streams her gaming and also art so she has a few different streams that streams of revenue that we haven't spoke about yet and so you can see that there's so many different avenues that you can go through to build an income as an artist there's no one thing fits all here there's lots of different revenue streams and you can pick the ones that work best for you so going back to that audience once you've built up an audience you can then start earning and living through whatever methods you have chosen so it is important that you build a business plan on what revenue streams that you want to have, like I said, and also think about how you're going to promote them and how you will maintain and be consistent with them. For example, if you are 
thinking about offering a monthly membership site that you're going to upload new content to every month, think about whether you will be able to keep up with that workload. Do you want to pick a workload that's suitable for you? Do you want it to be active income where you have to keep working on it like a membership site? Or do you want to create passive income where you build a product like a course and then you can just sell it through a digital product? Physical products take a bit more time because you've got to package them and ship them out unless you go through providers like Redbubble that do that for you. But there's so many different things that you can think about. And like I said, if you want any more details on any of these different topics that I've mentioned, because I'm going very quickly, I've got so much to go through, then let me know and I'll happily do lots more videos on that. So now I just wanna talk about what I decided to do to build my business. I decided to start growing an audience on YouTube and I knew I wanted to provide tutorials on drawing and painting. I very much knew that I wanted to go down the educational route and help people improve with their artwork. And so because I was already creating educational content on my YouTube for free, it became a very natural transition to then offer more in-depth art tutorials to my audience for a payment. So my Patreon and my courses. And it is really key to make it a natural transition. And you want to pitch a product or service that makes sense to your audience. You don't wanna put up videos or post for something and then try and sell them something completely different that they're not interested in. You wanna make it a natural transition. So you need to make sure that whatever you're promoting to your audience is also of value to them because you don't wanna break the trust that you have with your audience either because you rely on them a lot. So if you are selling them stuff that's really crap, then they're not going to want to support you anymore. So make sure that if you're selling something to them or doing a sponsorship with another brand that you actually like that brand's product before you try and sell it to your audience. So there's so much more that I could say on this topic and I'd love to make this into a series. If you are interested, please, please let me know and what aspects you're interested in and I'll make more episodes on that. And also, if you liked this bee painting and want to learn to paint in a more expressive style or you want to improve your watercolor paintings, then you can get a free two-hour real-time painting tutorial when you join my newsletter. So it's in real time, comes with the reference. You can follow along with that. And if you sign up to my newsletter, you will also get exclusive discounts on my online courses that I don't give to anyone else. And you'll get more educational content on there as well. So I'll leave a link for that at the top of my description, as well as for my Patreon site and for my course website as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. And even take that bell icon so you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.